Well, if you're heading out to grab some lunch, you may not need that winter gear. Look at these temperatures. We are at 60 right now in Washington. This spring like trend, it's not over with either. We're at 62 right now in Waynesburg, 58 in Pittsburgh. Butler, you're at 57. We have a cooler spot. Du Bois at 48, but making it to the 50s here soon. 61 also in Latrobe. That's nearly 20 degrees above average. Normal highs this time of the year should be at about 37 degrees. And look at this temperature change from this time yesterday 20 to 25 degrees warmer also into Beaver Falls 18 degrees warmer in Washington 22 degrees warmer in Latrobe. We do have some sunshine but those clouds will gradually thicken through the day. We started off with our low temperatures right below that freezing mark but high so far at 58 degrees Again, mostly cloudy skies as those winds out of the southwest are going to be pulling in of moisture. So right now on our satellite and radar, we are quiet. We are staying dry, but we do have this weak short wave and we're going to see this southwesterly flow again, pulling in those clouds, also looking at increasing moisture. So we could see just a stray shower, very light at that overnight and early tomorrow. It's not going to be a washout by any means. Nothing we need to be too concerned about. That widespread rain isn't going to be moving in until Sunday. So you still have some dry time to enjoy. I think you can just leave the umbrella at home. These showers you should just be able to dodge. They'll be overnight tonight. Temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be mild waking up into the mid 40s. So let's time it out for you in future cast. Nice and quiet. Here's those light showers I'm talking about for early tomorrow. They'll be very scattered and also very light. Then by Friday morning, some areas may be waking up in the 50s. Showers will gradually start to taper off. We'll see clouds clearing out for a bit. Saturday is going to stay dry. Then by Sunday, that's when we're looking at that widespread precipitation. So if you do have plans to travel on Sunday, make sure that you are just taking it slow. So what you need to expect, mild temperatures all the way through the weekend. We do see stray showers around. We do have widespread rain for Sunday. Then colder air moves in on the backside of the system. So highs today, I bumped it up a bit. We may touch 60, but 45 for tonight. Mostly cloudy winds out of the south at five miles per hour. Another beautiful day tomorrow into the mid 50s, despite just a sprinkle or two. So if you feel one, shouldn't be too much to worry about. And then as we head throughout Monday, we're seeing temperatures into the mid 40s. So we'll be turning a little bit cooler. Showers taper off. It may be cold enough early on Tuesday morning for a flake, but doesn't look like any snow accumulation. If you have plans New Year's Eve, not going to be as warm. It's going to be cold. You need the layers, but uh, we're back near average for New Year's Day. Oh, darn. Can't complain, <laughs> though. I mean, we are spoiled with what we had this yeah. week and basically through Sunday. So we it's just it's just amazing to see that yeah, you can December. head outside. You can mm -hmm. really do anything outside. Go to the park. Yeah. All the way through the weekend. I know. Do a uh, hike or whatever you like to do uh, during Christmas week, holiday week. So yeah. all right, Mary. Well, thank you.